Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So, since last episode, for starters, I have become comfortable, comfortable with the stone sledgehammer and I did craft up two stacks of dust and I finished getting our flint mesh that we're going to need. I've got a bit of iron made up, I've got a bunch of materials, it really hasn't been but like uh, maybe 15 minutes since the last recording ended, but I have an idea that I want to do. And what we're going to do for starters, we're going to go ahead and just place out uh, some sieves here. And I'm going to need, well, I'll tell you what, let's see, flint. What all can I get that from? Flint stiff and mesh. Iron stiff and mesh from gravel. Along with a lot of other things. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead... For right now, we're going to make some more flint stiff and mesh. But it would actually be worth it to pull this stuff up for right now. And let's go ahead and make ourselves... Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and make... Uh, those. And I'll just put that one back. We'll... It'll be fine for the time being. And so we completed this quest here. And I know we can spin these. I'm actually saving up for a couple things in particular. But I just don't have the stuff that I need for right now. And I did go ahead and use the one diamond that we had to make a diamond wand. Uh, because we're going to have more diamonds soon. So that's not a biggie. But let's go ahead and start processing down all this dust. And we should be getting... There we go. That's what I'm after is actually redstone. That's what I really, really want right now. We're also getting a bunch of other stuff. There's nickel, silver, platinum, lead, tin. There's sky stone, crushed quartz, certus quartz, aluminum ore, copper ore, bone meal, blaze powder, osmium, iron ore, uh, gold. I mean, we're getting all kinds of stuff at this point. Which, I mean, honestly, you could probably just upgrade your meshes and not worry about keeping one of each. I just want one of each just to have it in the base more than anything. Once we start building our base, which we are going to start working this episode, I think we're going to start into a bit of gardening. Of course, I love gardening, but to do that, we're going to need a lot of dirt and I don't want to have to manually make dirt because that's just no fun at all. So we're going to be doing that in style this episode. Let's just throw all this stuff into there. I've actually got a bit more iron. Let me go ahead and get this stuff smelting. To make up for all the iron that we've used. So there we go. And actually let me get. Let me go ahead and get another furnace. For right now. And what does it take to make the iron furnace? So we can smelt things a little bit faster. Eight iron. Okay that'll be totally doable in just a second. I'm going to need. Uh, one more iron ingot. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a new furnace. There we go. Boom. And quest complete. And the quest here for the furnace up, oh, they want us to make all the furnace upgrades. We'll get into that later. I don't actually need it right this second. Um, okay, so let's just set this thing up like right there for the time being and what I want to do um, actually first and foremost let's go ahead and get ourselves like eight sand but anyways we're gonna get that cooking and I'm also gonna need to get some stone cooking as well I may have to wait till this finishes up or make another furnace I'll tell you what let's just go ahead and make another furnace for right now and Let's do that. Let's get ourselves eight coal and we'll go ahead and get this smelting up. And what I want to work on today, the first thing I want to be making is transfer nodes. I want some of these, just the item transfer nodes. We're going to need a chest. We're going to need some transfer pipes. Transfer pipes are just glass stone slabs and redstone for 64 of them. And what we're going to be working on today, to give you an idea, is we're going to be working on... Um, an auto dirt system. That's what I want today. Because I don't want to have to manually make dirt. That's no fun. 
think I could have smelted like one more out of that. I know the efficiency is a little bit better on those, but um, there's our 64 transfer pipes. And then I just need a couple pieces of stone and we can get our transfer nodes. And is there a quest for these by chance? I don't really know. It's possible there is somewhere. But where? I haven't a clue. It's probably down in here. If there is one, I don't know. There's so many quest lines, so. Simple achievements. Okay. Well, anyways, back to what we were doing. So we've got our transfer nodes. Um, now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to build out a little area. And I think for the time being, we're going to set it up over here. Uh, just off to the side. This is all going to get moved, of course, in natural skyblock fashion. This is all just kind of temporary. But we're going to make our little dirt system over here. And the reason being, we want lots of dirt so that we can make lots of gardens and it not be a pain. And we can make lots of... Well, basically, we can make a base. A proper base, which is going to be great. Um, among other things, let's go ahead now and make ourselves a few chests. Basically, just as many as we can. By the way, I'm curious. I'm curious if this works. Haha, <laughs> it does. Okay. I don't know if that's like... An oversight or if it's maybe intended as like a better way to make chests I don't know but let's go ahead and just set up um, tripwire hook yeah we might as well let's make two just so these will set a little bit better let's go ahead and just make ourselves a set of tripwire hooks and there's a couple trap chests and what we're gonna do is just set them up like that that and then we're going to make ourselves a couple bonsai pots. And for this, I'm going to need water. I need to set up an infinite water source, actually. I should probably do that real quick. That is, of course, assuming that we can make infinite water sources. Oh, no. Okay, will this work? Yes, all right. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then uh, let me break down... Uh, let me break down, like... I'm breaking down like six of these. Oh, and we can just do this in the crafting table. That's kind of nifty. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead, get this smelted up. And basically what I want to make is a few more, a few more hopping bonsai plants. And then let's go ahead and just grab our bonsai pot out of here. I'm going to need a little bit more dirt. That's fine. We're going to set this up like right there. Dirt. Oak sapling. This is fine if this is all just oak. It's actually a bit easier if it's all just oak. So that'll be okay. And then what we're going to do, let's go ahead and just put transfer node, transfer node, transfer node, transfer node right there. And then we're going to run these out. Um, what does it take to make a monkey wrench? Or a, a wrench. Oh, what do we need to get flowers? I think um, we could buy them at the market. Maybe we should go ahead and make a market. Yeah, let's do that. Of course, we've also got bone meal. We could just... Uh, yeah, why don't we just do it with bone meal? This has to be red wool anyway, so... Plus, we'll get some seeds along the way. There's cotton. Oh, there's a carrot carrot seed. Awesome. We're definitely going to want that. Probably later this episode. One of these days, I might get a poppy. I don't know. But just maybe. I've got 11 dandelions, though. There's a poppy. I'll tell you what. We're going to make the market first. Because the poppy chance is horrible. Okay, there's another poppy. So we're going to make... Well, actually, we're going to turn both of these into red dye. This one's going to go into making red wool to make the market. There we go. And we're going to set this up just...
<laughs> I really like that. That was pretty cool. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah, I haven't made a bed yet. That's fine. Interesting. We can sell stuff. All right, so let's make ourselves a wrench. There we go. And this should be done. So there's three more bonsai pots. We'll just quickly turn them into hopping bonsai pots. There we go. And then I am going to need one more piece of dirt, but really? Well, actually, really, I could just take this one. That's fine. And uh, let's set these up. Boom, boom, boom. And then dirt. Bop, bop, bop. And then our saplings. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. That's going to start growing. And then what we're going to do is run these out like that. And we're going to say, like, you can't transfer off in this direction. You can't transfer off in this direction. And you can't transfer off in this direction. Because I want them to all go to one centralized location, which is going to be right here. And what we're going to do is, let me go dump off all these seeds real quick. We'll use these later, but not right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a drawer controller, maybe? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to make a drawer controller. We're just going to make drawers, in fact. And from the oak, we have oak wood, we have saplings, we have sticks, we have apples, and we have leaves that come from them. And three of these things are compostable. Whereas the sticks and the wood are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a... Uh, I'm just going to make them out of oak for the time being. Just because we can. It's no biggie. And let me go ahead and actually just empty this out real quick. And we'll put that there. So all this stuff comes from that. And what we're going to do... Which we need to get a sawmill here soon as well... Let me go ahead and pull up this. And basically there's uh I'll tell you what, we could just do it um, for the time being. Let's just make ourselves a 2x2 two two basic drawer. So there's some 2x2 two two basic drawers. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these up... Um, Build that out. We're going to set up a drawer here and a drawer. Actually, uh, let me just remove that for the time being. I need to make a pick, a proper pick. Um, well, I'll tell you what, actually, let me pull that up. I'm going to put it right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put saplings. Here, we're going to put apples here. We're going to put leaves here. Now, these things can all be taken out to make dirt. And then we're going to have wood. And we're going to have sticks. And then we're going to run this over like that. And then what's going to happen is all this stuff's going to get pulled out, sent over to these drawers. And then if it can't go into these drawers, what we're going to do is we're going to have it go over... And it's going to feed into some barrels. And I'm going to put um, something above these. Um, what I need these for? I'll need them for making clay. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll have two barrels that are making dirt. And these things will be able to store eight stacks before it starts sending anything over. Um, so it's going to take a little bit before this actually starts kicking out um, dirt. But that's fine. Um I could put a flint upgrade in it, which I might do, because I really don't need more than one stack of any of these things, truth be told. And then what we'll do is we'll put barrel there, barrel there. I want to go ahead and just break that off. And so then any of that stuff that comes through will get fed over. And let's take a look at, uh, let's do at drawers and the storage upgrade no, the flint downgrade is what I want. 
All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves some upgrade templates. And I do have enough flint in here. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a storage downgrade. And let me pull out that. We'll go ahead and put a storage downgrade onto this. Now the stack limit's only one stack. And then what's going to happen is it's going to have to pump this stuff out. If I throw that into there, it's going to find this wooden barrel and it should send it into it. Oh, I didn't lock these. No, stop. <laughs> I didn't even think about locking them. Um, okay, we're going to need some gold real quick. That's fine. I've got plenty of gold. And I will want storage upgrades for the sticks and wood one. But I'll get those here soon. Okay, so there is our drawer key. And we're going to go ahead and lock it. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now if we were to put in the apples, we put in the saplings. Stop it. Stop it, you. There we go. We put in the saplings. There's some more apples. You can see that they're going over to these barrels and starting to compost those. And then what we'll do is I'm going to make another set of transfer nodes. Yeah, should should be all good for that. We'll make another chest and the transfer nodes. There we go. And then what we'll do, can this pull out? I don't think it can pull out of the front like that, but yeah, it looks like it sure can. Yeah, it can. Awesome. So we're just going to do that. And then I guess what we could do is feed it down into here and just store dirt in this. Um, yeah, let's do that. So dirt's going to go right there. And then we are going to just transfer pipe, transfer pipe, break that off, transfer pipe. You cannot send off in this direction. So it's just going to pump out the dirt to here. Right now we have two pieces of dirt. Now we could expand this like a lot, but uh, I will say this should start pumping out some pretty decent amounts of dirt uh, pretty quickly. I wouldn't mind maybe another... Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do like two more barrels actually. And we'll plop down barrel, barrel, transfer node, transfer node, pipe, pipe. And then don't send that way. Don't send that way. And then that, that. And realistically four is probably going to be as fast as transfer nodes can send things in all honesty, because they're just not very fast about it. Um, they should send the stuff to the barrel or the drawers pretty quick. But I, but once these oak leaves fill up too, we should be putting out a decent amount of dirt. Um, we've already got six dirt. And this can kind of just run passively, uh, truth be told. So that should be good. And then also our cobblestone generator. Can we upgrade this thing right now? There's the tier two, which takes the tier one and eight blocks of iron. Okay. Later. <laughs> Not right now, actually, on that one. That one's a little bit uh, a little bit expensive. Let me go ahead and do this. And did we get some diamonds? No, where do diamonds come from? Because I, I know it comes from iron stiffened mesh, but comes from sifting gravel we can start getting iron I mean diamonds and then I can make the diamond stiffen mesh after that so yeah there's tin dirt beautiful beautiful stuff okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some time by the way grass seeds do they come from dirt they do come from dirt okay through string mesh what about the better meshes no, dirt can only be ran through string mesh. So basically this is the, uh, all this stuff can come from sifting dirt. All right. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to, I'm going to let that start building up dirt and I'm going to start building out 
some sort of a, like a living space so we have some sort of a base going like that we can farm and stuff i mean it's not going to be like houses and all that stuff just yet but i'm going to get it built out so we can actually start farming and doing some stuff like that and i will be back in just a bit okay um i've got this all working i did chunk load this but i noticed it doesn't uh it doesn't keep running when i'm offline so i was offline for a little bit took a took a sleep <laughs> and then came back uh plus i had some enigmatica editing and recording to finish out and stuff so but then i came back and my dirt hadn't really built up so sad day but that's okay um we have expanded this i started building this little bridge we'll get into that um what i think we're going to do as far as a build i haven't pinned down i've got a couple ideas as far as like an overall theme but whatever we do end up doing i think i want to keep with the sky block feel so we're going to have like these floating islands with bridges between them um, is kind of what I'm leaning towards, but we'll see. So this is kind of our starting island. This is just a temporary spice, but I've ran this over and we've got some, some grass. I got some grass seeds by sifting uh, dirt. And then I've also been sifting a, I actually did nine stacks of gravel. I did a full stack of compressed cobble and um, I've got five diamonds so far. One more and we can make a diamond mesh, which actually, let me go ahead, uh, let me go ahead and actually just do another stack real quick. Let me make another, like, bunch of, uh, there's that too. Uh, let me make another stack of compressed gravel real fast, just because it only takes a second and, uh, I'd like to go ahead and get our first diamond mesh made, if at all possible. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and tear it up, I believe. Okay. I got the diamond that we needed. It only took a little over a stack of gravel. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a new, um, a totally new mesh for this. And I'll go ahead and make a new save as well. There's our new save. And then let me get, uh, still have not made a bed yet. I just don't need, really need one though. Skyblock, you don't need one too much, I don't guess. That, and then we'll make the flint stiffened, iron stiffened, and then diamond stiffened mesh. There we go, quest completed. And let's go ahead and grab that. And I think I decided on what kind of an auto ore processing system I want to go with first. Um, it may not be the most uh, convenient or whatever, and it might take a little bit to get into, but that's fine. I think I'd prefer uh, going with that, though. But that's going to give us a double chance to get diamonds, which is still only a 1.6% chance. Um, so I'm probably still going to be making diamonds through this for the time being, because it's like a little over a stack of gravel, and I get lots of metals. Um, but doing these one at a time sounds terrible. Sounds absolutely terrible. Um, okay, so we've actually, we're getting a dent put in this. The next thing that I want to do, um, I found whenever I was running this, I had to make a trash can because we filled up on wood and sticks so fast. But I found that I'm too poor to make obsidian at the moment. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to set up a auto obsidian system. And right now we're just going to start with, um, I guess, one crucible and then we'll expand as time goes on. Um, but what I want to do is I want to grab a bit of cobble and we're just going to build this back like, you know, off in this direction. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, like right here and this will get expanded out um, as time goes on. But what I want to do is let's grab, um, hmm, okay, well, I'll tell you what, let me get, um, because I'm going to need a bit of clay for this. Let me actually do a couple of these, in fact. And what we're going to be setting up is um, kind of our auto lava system, and then eventually, you know, it'll, it'll expand to be like auto power and auto um, all these things. Um, it shouldn't be too much longer at this point before we start making iron buckets because of the direction that we're going to take. It seems like there's a fair, there's a fair few ways that you could start towards auto resources and auto ore processing and just kind of different directions that you can take. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing a bit of farming as well. Um, 
I was planning on it this episode, but I don't know if we'll get to it this episode or not. Not for sure, but we're going to go ahead and drop that right there. And then I guess I could... Well, I tell you what, I need to make a pick. I was thinking about that earlier. I need to get a pickaxe up and going. So let's go ahead... And we're just going to start with a stone pickaxe because we can. Wooden tool rod. And we'll do a wooden binding as well. I think it's time. There we go. And getting an upgrade. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do, let me grab this. Let me pull up that. Let's pop over. I'm just going to hold on to this little bit of lava for the time being. Um, let me drop that. And we're going to set that there. That way we've got an easier way to um, to make lava or a faster way. But really what is it we need to make some blazing pyrothium? Sulfur. That's what I'm missing I think at the moment. I don't have any sulfur. Anyways, what we're going to do we're going to have that set up there. And we are going to... Ooh, do I want to move this? I think I do. Let me just move our cobblestone generator over to... Here. And we're going to be making some more of these. This one... Um, we're going to have this one and we're going to have another one which we're going to be working on here in just a second. I've got to make another cobblestone generator, but... Um, actually here in just a moment, in fact. Um, and I'll explain why that is. In just a moment. Did I use all my trans... Yeah, I did use all my transfer pipes, didn't I? Okay, well, let me get... I'm going to need... Uh, yeah, I made 64 oak chests because I was trying to use up some of that... Uh, <laughs> some of that wood that was piling up on me. So let's get our transfer pipes. I just want one set of these. And I also want one set. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's fine. Because I'm going to need the crushing table anyways. Um, blocks of iron. I'm going to have to cast them. No. Or can I do this? Can I pull this off right now? Kind of, actually, surprisingly. Red alloy. Alloy. <laughs> oh, it's like the rabbit hole begins. Um... Okay, well, we're going to start with just these transfer nodes. I don't know if, um, well, we might be able to make these fluid conduits. Let's see. Yes, we can make these fluid conduits. That works just as well, then. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have that set up right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just to move all this cobble, because I need to do it anyways, let's go ahead and just compact it. We could make a, um, I mean, we could make packing type, but there's really not much point in it because we need to... Go ahead and get a lot of this cobble compressed anyhow. Um, I will say that we're going to have this co this compressed cobble on demand here in just a minute. But we'll get into that in just a second. Now let's move this. We'll set that back up. And then what I want to do is I want to set up a transfer node. And actually, I think we could just run it over like this. Yes, and that's going to start pumping cobble into this, keeping it filled up so that it's just producing lava for us. And then what do we need to make a tank? Because maybe we could store up some of this lava, which would be handy. I'll tell you what, um, a really easy tank. I mean, it may not store a ton. I just want some that's like accessible to us. Um, but a really easy tank for us to make right now would be this one. This is a Galacticraft fluid tank. I can't remember how much they store. Um, and then I'm also going to need to make some conduits. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab our fluid conduits. And I'm going to need, uh, that makes four. Gravel, sand, clay. How much clay? Honestly, one craft of this should set us up for a minute. There we go. There's eight. And we'll get that smelting. And then I need to get some more sand. Uh, smelting up. So let me just, uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just place this out and there we go. And honestly, mechanical user um, for ore processing would probably be pretty good as well. 
I don't see any issues with that, but I'm going to be going with a different method. Just because I want to get like some tech method going, I think. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up our Galacticraft tank. Um, well, this is probably going to expand out. Yeah, actually, it's probably going to expand out in this direction, I think. So what we'll do is we'll have the tank setting. Well, it all depends. Let's see, let's get our fluid conduits. There's four of those. If I run these out like that, extract all is active, there we go. And we'll set up our fluid tank right there. So this can store 16,000 millibuckets. That's not too bad. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and let's make another one of these. That way we can store up lots of lava. And, uh, can I use the wrench to connect these up? No. No, you can't. <laughs> You're going to have to have the other wrench or something. Which is not even about to happen. That's not even... Maybe once we get the casting table we could do it. I don't know if we could maybe do the hammer... Um, what I'm probably going to do is just that, that, and then what we're going to do is let's grab ourselves this right here. This is a stone barrel. I made this earlier then I was like, no, I'm not even going to, I'm not even about to make all that lava because it takes forever to melt that with a torch. It's a bit faster with uh, lava, and then once we get blazing pyrothium, it'll be a whole lot faster. But I think I'm going to expand out on our crucibles, and how much bone meal do we have? 17. That's not too bad. I could I could make some with that. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a stone barrel that sets... Um, well, I guess we'll have the system setting, like, right here, let's say. And then... Um, let me grab some cobble. And all we're going to do is put a fluid conduit here and say, you can extract always active. And then it's going to fill this up with lava. And then um, anytime that we need obsidian then, and of course we'll want to expand this because it just makes the whole process a bit faster. But if we want obsidian, all we have to do, and actually I've got a bucket of lava here, but all we're going to have to do now is just put water on top of this. And this is going to be basically just for making obsidian. And then later on we'll expand on it. But we just put water there. And then pow, there's obsidian. Pow, there's obsidian. And it's filling up now. <laughs> Once it fills up, boom, there's obsidian. Okay, so we basically got automatic, slow, but automatic lava. Um, I need to basically build more crucibles at this point, and, um, which actually isn't too hard to do. Let me dump these other buckets. Oh, and there's bone meal here, too. I need to get a better clay set up that's a little bit automatic. I'll go ahead and make 14 porcelain clay, and then that. And I'll have to make more fluid conduits, but uh, that's fine. And actually, I've got to let this lava build up as well. Um, though I don't know if flowing flowing lava might actually work. <laughs> that risked my life to get a piece of cobblestone. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. So let's try this. This still has a rate of three times. This has a rate of, okay, of two times. So I want lava here to speed it up. That's fine. We can use that to start uh, to start speeding it up. And there's another crucible. Which I'm not going to put that one right there just yet because I want to fill this out with lava first. But yeah, after this has some time to run, I think we will have um, quite a bit of lava and obsidian. Though, like I said, I don't think it runs when we're offline on the server. I do not believe so. Okay, let me dump off some of this stuff real quick. And let me take a look at... Because there's another thing I'd like to make. 
just to get it up and running if we can. I'm going to need plates before I can do that. And infinity dust, uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit on that, I believe. And let's go ahead and upgrade our furnace really quick. Um, just because we can upgrade our efficiency and stuff like that. Um, and that's going to complete a quest. Next up is the diamond one. It's going to be a minute on that because I need more diamonds. Um, so there is that. And what I would like to do now is I think before we can move on and do much of anything, we're going to have to, I mean, we could start into farming and we're going to, but I need my dirt to build up. Um, I've got 25 now. But I want to get this kind of built out so we have like a proper area instead of just making temp farms. It's just going to take a little bit for the dirt to build out, basically. Um, but what I want to do is I want to start in two tinkers. Uh, you know, this stuff. The porcelain melter and all that stuff. And we're going to need porcelain bricks, which is porcelain clay, smelted. And we're going to need porcelain windows and all that. Um, which basically means I need a ton of bone meal. And the best way to get that is, I guess, going to be saving, there's a 20% chance saving dust through string. 20%, 20%, 20%. And it looks like it's the same drops in diamond and iron stiffened. So yeah, I'm going to do, um, let me grab our, I'll tell you what, let me just, uh, let me break down a stack of this compressed cobble that we've got. Okay, so there's a bunch of dust and, um, I'm going to get to saving this, but like I said, um, the way that we're going to be doing ore processing, there's lots of different ways we could do it um, and automate it, but I think the way that we're going to do it is just, I want to do it because it's a, a mod that I usually don't start with, and so we're going to go for that, I think, for this pack, just, just a little change of pace uh, more than anything. Okay, there's 33 bone mill so far. And, um, yeah, that should be good. Uh, I don't know that it's going to get us everything, but is there an easy, like, infinite water source? We need lead, we need graphite, we need tin, and we need, uh, I think we have to have the iron water buckets for that. Um, oh, we got a cow! We got two cows! <laughs> this isn't too bad, I just was... Wondering if there's something that didn't take a whole lot of setup or work to get us some infinite uh, clay or easier clay. All right, so there is 33 unfired porcelain. And we'll go ahead and just toss it into there. And I'm going to keep making um, a bit more clay, I think, because I know we're going to need it. If not for this, we're going to need it for grout and stuff for the actual smeltery. All right. My cows are traveling right now. I have to get them set up somewhere here pretty quick. All right. So, porcelain casting table. Yeah, let's go ahead and just start kicking through this stuff. This is going to take a lot of porcelain bricks. Then we need the basin. We need the faucet, which is not crafted like that. How do you craft a porcelain faucet? Oh. Okay, I see. I'm going to have to actually fire it. Just toss it into there, get that going. And then we're going to need the porcelain tank, which requires glass. There's that. And then we need the melter, which requires a window, or a gauge, or a tank. Um, I think doing the gauge would probably be the easiest, because it only takes four of these. And then it's just a bit of glass, which is easier, I guess. And we are one brick short. Go, go, go. And is that not right? Oh, no, we're not one brick short. It only requires um, six of them. So there we go, and quest come. Oh wait, I need the faucet. There we go. And let's claim that. Then they want us to get grout. 
gravel and sand. Okay. Let's go ahead. This is pretty easy because we got this stuff already built up. Let's go ahead and get ourselves. Um, and we're going to be crafting eight at a time instead of the two. There we go. Quest complete. And then we have advanced tinkers. This smeltery will double ores and alloys, so be careful what you point, uh, what you put in. Um, won't double ore or alloy anything, but needed to get the smeltery. Okay, so to actually get sear bricks, we're gonna have to cast them, which um, well, do we? Because we could just use cobblestone. In that case, instead of smelting grout, let's say grout is used, seared stone, it only makes one ingots, but we could also just smelt stone, cobblestone, and get one ingot. Okay, so I'm just going to put this grout away. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have made that much. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but uh, yeah, we really don't need it at the moment. Okay, so let's set this up. Um, we'll set it up right over here. Melter goes there. Or the, the tank goes there. The melter goes there. Faucet will go right here. And then um, we're going to be using the casting basin for right now. But we'll put the uh, table like right there. And then what we need to do is transfer some lava over to this. And I think a bucket should be good for the time being. And then let's throw in a batch of cobble. Oh, that's what it is. Cobblestone. Okay. Derp. Okay. That makes sense. Um, or no, I'm going to be needing the... No, I'm going to be needing... Let me move this out of the way. And can we make a redstone clock or something right now? Um, any stone, redstone, redstone torch. Yeah, we can. Let me do that just to make this process a bit easier. Um, and do we want to make a hopper? Yeah, let's make a hopper. Yeah, I guess for right now, we're going to have this kind of floating over the void. This is stuff that if I lose it, I'm not worried about losing it. Um, even though we could... Yeah, I'll tell you what, let me get let me get some water. I had a bucket of water on me when I was building that bridge because it just made it a whole lot easier. We'll just place that there. And let's ride the elevator down. There we go. And there we go. Okay. That way we don't have to worry about losing anything. All right, so that's going to go there, and then we need our redstone torch. Let me grab my stone. I guess I could have had this stuff melting <laughs> this whole time, but that's fine. We'll go ahead. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to make... Um, I think it's going to take two ingots of gold. And then let me grab an iron ingot. Just put that there and let me make a lever also so that we've got that all right our gold is done let's go ahead and pour a cast boom and then we'll set up our redstone torch we'll go ahead and put the lever on that so we can stop it but for right now i'm just gonna let it run and i'm gonna throw in some grout and let me make up another hopper real quick and that way we can put it like right here throw our grout in and that way it keeps feeding it and then we can just let this stuff melt. And it's going to start pouring our seared bricks for us. And then we're going to need a lot of seared bricks to finish this stuff out. Which is fine. We can go ahead and make the faucet. No, we can't. The faucet needs something else. <laughs> what do you need now? Oh, we, need a, we have to upgrade the porcelain faucet. Okay. I guess I should look at all these recipes to get an idea. That upgrades from the porcelain tank. That upgrades from the porcelain melter. That is standard. 
That's going to be standard. That upgrades. That upgrades. Okay, so we pretty much have to just get a bunch of this and then disassemble our entire porcelain melter system and set up the smeltery, I suppose. Um, one thing I can do really, really quick, which we're about to end out the episode. I'm going to let this stuff run and then we'll pick back up. But there's our smeltery drain or the seared drain. I'm actually going to make two of these. I think we've probably got enough grout to pull that off. And yeah, we're going to let that run for a bit and we'll pick back up with this next episode. Next episode, we're going to get our proper smeltery. We're going to start getting into plates and a little bit of magnetic craft. Um, and I'm thinking that magnetic craft is, my plan is that's going to be the mod that we work with um, for our initial ore doubling, I think. Just because I don't usually use that mod and I think it would be pretty fun. Um, to have a start where we're using more magnetic craft because usually it's one of those mods It's so similar to immersive engineering in so many ways that normally when it comes up. I'm just like eh, whatever, you know, and um, I'd like to this go around get some use out of it. I think and um, Get to play around with it a bit more So I think that'll be fun and I've got to make some more fluid conduits, and I've got to run, um, actually just really, really quick, I can go ahead and run those transfer nodes over. So just boom, boom, like that. That way it's going to start dumping cobble into these and making some lava. And then I'll make a couple more fluid conduits and reroute this, so we've got more, more lava coming through, like three times as much. So that'll be good. But anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point four this episode, so I'm going to empty out here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.